Welcome back everybody. As promised, we're going to do a feature video on the War God. And so let's add him to our inventory over here. And you can do a search once you open up your inventory. And that way you can see all the gods that I currently have. And all these gods max out at 4,000 DPS. But if you take a look at the War God over here, he actually maxes out at 6,000 at a range of 163. Which is actually slightly less than the Light God. Let's see. And, well, Light God actually does the most range that I've seen. Fire God, 138. Uh, Thunder God, 138. War God, once. So, it's actually the second most because the Light God uses the power of the sun, flows through the God of Light, and so 175, I guess that's what it is. But let's go ahead and equip War God over here. And don't forget that I did max out my base level player here, so we should probably throw on the Cosmic Warrior skin. And I do like the Bloodlust. That was the hardest one to get. And I do like all the orc worlds for some reason. I, I just think they're really cool. So let's hop on in here. Hopefully there's no teleport issues. Sometimes when you're teleporting, then a little message comes up saying, can't teleport, and then you have to restart the game. Okay, good. Got the splash screen going now, so I know we're going to be good to go. I believe I've done feature videos on the last two levels, Skylands and Shredding Time. I don't think I did a feature video on the Kingdom or Orc Swamp. So why don't we try the Kingdom over here. And let's go ahead and vote. Yeah, let's get rid of these pets. Alright, and I do have I do have the team to do Nightmare. So we'll throw up Nightmare, and yep, just like all the other gods, 50,000 right over here. We're going to put, we're going to start off with Set. I mean, why not? He's going to take care of everyone over here. And how many waves do we have? We have, we have 30 waves. All right. Once we get the 7,500, I'll put down a Pandora. Remember that Set throws his dust tornadoes every three seconds. So if one of these guys is really super quick, then Pandora is going to take care of that. Notice I'm running without Medusa this time. I think we can definitely handle this level without Medusa. And we'll wait to place down another set. So that'll be good right over here. And while we're waiting, check out this this champion. He even lights up over here. I don't think he lights up when you're in the main level. But as soon as you teleport, check that out. I hope everyone was able to get this alien skin. Because this actually is really cool. This is my favorite skin. Although he gives an additional boost to your base health over here once you reach level... What did they say? Level 5 or is it level 10? Can't remember. But I'm obviously not there yet. I'm trying to get there. And he does give Alien Beast, that's his partner tower, a 10% boost. So, I don't know. We'll try and level this guy up. Oh, look, we're at 26. All right, let's get another, we'll get another set right over here. And then we do have enough for another Pandora. So we'll throw this Pandora in right here. I don't know if I can squeeze another set in. That's pretty tight quarters. So we can probably throw him in right behind this Pandora. We'll put our third Pandora right over here. Trying for wave five. All right, let's see. Can we get him in there? Nope, I didn't think so. Let's say I really want to maximize the range here. Yeah, that's fine. We'll put him right here. We'll put this other Pandora right in front. And then... When we start getting to our Splatoons and our Galactic Emperor, I'll probably put Galactic Emperor right over here, and our Splatoons can be all around this, these parts over here. 
this is one of those boards where, and I, I haven't posted any videos with duos or trios. I just haven't played with anyone else just yet. But it seems to me that this would be a hard board to do. You could probably get away with doing duos, but trios, there's just not a lot of space to put down all three players' towers in general. So that'd be kind of rough. All right, I want to wait until I get to 50,000. That way we can put down our feature tower, the War God. And let him shine. I think these three sets, these three Pandoras are going to be able to take care of all these enemies that come out. Now, when you place a tower, you'll see that it has a little circle around it. Not this circle here, but a placement circle. And usually, the other gods, from what I remember, their placement circles are relatively smaller. Alright, that orc rider's toast. We're getting there. So I might be able to fit in this war god right over here between this wheelbarrow and set. There we go. Now, see the placement tower? Look at that. He actually takes up quite a bit of space here. That is quite a bit. Alright, we'll put him right there. And he starts out by doing 1,000 damage per second and with a range of 100. So these enemies are really done in for now. At least for the time being. And upgrade to 60. So I'm assuming it probably fills the same pattern as the other gods with the upgrade cost. And at 60,000, is isn't much of an upgrade. Only 375. I want to see how many placements we get here. So there's the DPS per tower, and then there's a slot DPS. Slot DPS is how many damage per second in total do all of your towers do. So, for example, with Pandora's box right now, 125. You take that 125 and multiply it by 3. But um, when you read about or hear about slot DPS, it's the maximum amount of DPS for the total amount of towers you can place. So set does 13,000. Total DPS with no additional help, so no pet boost or no champion boost. And so you multiply that by 3, and that gives you 39,000 slot DPS. So it does 13,000 DPS per tower, but again, the slot DPS would be 39,000. Okay, let's place down... I'm just probably picking that. Well, yeah, oh, look, he fits in between the trees here. Alright, so we'll put him there. I know it's three, at least three. Can he fit in right over? Oh, he can. All right, look at that. But I want to see if we can actually get four. I'm going to guess no. And we're going to find out momentarily. Look at that. $44 away. All right. I was correct, only three. That seems to be the norm with most of these towers. The really overpowered ones, you either get one or two, but Splatoon is kind of the oddball here because Splatoon, you can place five, which is actually insane, the amount of damage that Splatoon does. And that's really, 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 really cool. And then it's the 80,000, two or three, when you're making a nice little jump here. All right, we're on wave 14, and we're going to get to 80,000 momentarily. If you're a beginning player, then you can probably get away with playing this board. Just do it on normal, and you just want to keep building up that XP and gaining coins, XP and coins. It's these little goblin squares here. Notice how fast they are, but when you play on normal mode, then everything slows down, and the enemy's health definitely goes down as well. Now we're at 80,000. Golden Dragon, definitely way better bargain than any of these. 
And Golden Dragon, that's when you log in for 30 straight days. So if you can do that, I would really encourage everyone to get the Golden Dragon. It's a great tower. Pandora, another great tower to save up for. So is Cyclops. And then Orc Tower, you have to win this one from the Orc Chest. One hundred twenty coming up, right about. All right, we made it, and so that's a big jump. We're going from twenty one twenty five right to four thousand. So this god right now, this war god could probably end up beating most of these on his own. Let's take a look at the art while we're waiting. So overall, I think it does look pretty cool. I would have really loved to see the progression of these towers before the developers just said, oh, you know what, we're going to get rid of all five tier towers and we're just going to display one tower. I would have loved to see how it grew from the small tower to the big tower. Probably not much changes, but I would assume that probably the, the lights here probably weren't glowing. And then, of course, a little bit smaller and maybe a smaller shield. Maybe not as built up. I don't know. I've never, I, like I said, this is the first time that I have the War God Tower. So we need 350 to go to 7,500. And again, just to remind everyone, I do have the Pet Boost on. And so that Pet Boost is giving each of these towers a 25% boost, which is actually pretty significant. If I wasn't featuring this tower, then I probably would have worked on my Pandora's boxes and my sets as well. I actually may need to do that. Coming up relatively quick here. But I want to get to 350. And there we go. We have now. So 7,500. Now we're, now we're in business. Oh no. Might as well put down a splatoon. Just as backup. Alright, let's go ahead. See, just as I was speaking. Should have started upgrading these Pandoras here. It's going to take a little bit of time. Oh no, we are maxed out. 7,500 is the max. All right, 60 over here. Let's get this Pandora to 60. All right, there we go. Orc Hunter, you're gone. What about this guy? Orc Tank? Not a big deal. We'll upgrade. We'll upgrade set. And we should probably put in our Orc Tower. We're at a 12% increase now. We're at 14% increase. We'll get to this 120. There we go. That 350 is going to take a little bit of time. So we should upgrade this other War God. All right, we're looking really good now. Looking good. We need 125 to go. Remember, this is this is a typo here. This is actually going from 14% to 20%. So now we're at 20%. That seems like it should be an easy fix for developers to do, but for some reason, it's just uh, not on their plate, I guess. I did test it out, so... It is an actually 20% increase. Three fifty coming up momentarily. There we go. Two set gods are maxed out. 
not set gods, we're only talking about war gods. Two war gods are maxed out. And we should have enough time now to max out our third war god. Trophy hunters. Oh no. The orc warlord. That's dangerous. Let's boost everyone. Now we're at a 25% boost. And we're going to wait for Pandora. Pandora needs 400. Let's get there, get there, get there. We got him. All right, good. Look at how fast those guys are. But only 15,000. Two Pandora's upgraded. And let's get one more Pandora upgraded. There we go. That's really good news now. This Orc Warlord going down super quick. Alright. Set. You're in for an upgrade. Brawl. 600,000. And we should put down our Galactic Emperor. Upgrade him. We got 14,000 on Tier 2. And we can go to Tier 3 now, 19,000. I normally, when I need, or if I'm playing Infinite Mode, I definitely want to go with the other Alien skin, because that other Alien skin gives an additional 10% boost to all your towers, but then it gives another 10% boost to Galactic Emperor. So... That's a really good strategy to have. And now we're ready for our boss here. And it shouldn't really be an issue. We'll get we'll max out our Galactic Emperor. We don't need to max out Set anymore because Set he does well when there's multiple enemies. But if there's just one enemy, it's not really very helpful. Because he only does, and I'll show you right here, almost eight thousand damage. So we'll get rid of him. And it's every three well, every three seconds. And who should we put in this place? No, we'll just upgrade. We can put down another. There's going to be no issues now. Should we do one more? Alright, we'll do one more. If he fits. Platoon fits. Yeah, I see. Didn't even need him. Alright, so War God. Really cool to have in your arsenal. But at the same time, if you've played this game long enough, then you're probably not going to use him ever because you have other towers that are going to do much better than he will. So, for example, I would put in Medusa over here uh, and even Golden Dragon. Medusa or Golden Dragon is probably my go-to loadout. And you can even get rid of Pandora, put an Alien Beast in there, get rid of Golden Dragon, put an Alien Beast in there if you have those towers. But either way, I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at War God, and if you did like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. So thanks for the support, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.